Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 as the Turks. So, let's continue where we left off. I think we're doing a pretty decent job at not getting terribly murdered by the White Walkers and we just got plus one range. Perfect. That will make it significantly easier having both logistics and plus one range. Anyway, just so you know, one of the very likely outcomes, and I'm not sure what happened there, but anyway, one of the very likely outcomes of this game is that we'll just randomly win out of the blow, because every other AI will get completely eliminated by the White Walkers. In fact, that is the most likely outcome of this game. <laughs> just so you're prepared for that. This is more of a how long can you survive challenge, or if you can survive at all challenge, especially on a tilted axis map. It doesn't really work as well on other maps. Anyway, best way to kill these guys? I think we need to move out of the city. We can also move towards the horsemen. I think we can kill both. Yeah, we can kill both, like so. There we go, and repair some more improvements. You can move into our own territory. We got a lone sword incoming. I should probably move the general just to protect him. All right, next. We'll need to do something about our income or lack of it. <laughs> we won't be getting any trade routes, although in theory, I could get a trade route with Kuala Lumpur. The problem is that I won't be able to protect it. At least until we get compass or something like that. And we got a catapult incoming. Right. Well, we'll need a unit in a dirn. But I feel like I need most of these guys here. It would be nice to have a road between Bursa and a dirn. That would help a bit. So let's just send one guy. We'll do some damage to the horseman. Just kill that horseman. Then kill the lone sword. Like so. And like this. And now we can move the composite bowman. I could just position him here or something like that. It's not a terrible idea. That's the guy with plus one range. Anyway, production. Caravan is done. We need to be really careful. I think we'll need a Colosseum, although... We're missing out on plus four happiness right now, because herds are pillaged. We could get more units. The problem is our income. It's not about building more things. It's about having enough money to actually maintain everything. Not much point building another settler right now. Because, yeah, there's a nice location for a city, but we need to get rid of that White Walker camp. I would recruit more units, but our income is a bit of a problem, which is why I'm having some serious doubts about that. Not much point building city walls, I don't think so. I suppose we could build barracks. That is minus one gold. Or we could just build a wonder. It's not a bad one, it will give us some money. Not a lot of money, but we'll get some money out of it. Okay, let's build that. That's 13 turns. And it's not like we have any competition for wonders. Anyway, caravan. There's only one shade route that's possible at the moment. And that's Bursa to Edirne with some food. So that's what we're going to do. You guys will just stay fortified. Alright, next. Yes, carry on. With the mine. And keep repairing the first. Next. It would be nice to do something about this city, but... That will have to wait a little bit. Okay, what's this? Gain 180 gold. Lose 120 but gain 66 culture. Or lose 210 and gain a free great work of art. I think I prefer gold right now because gold will clearly be a problem. We can't get trade routes, we can't trade. I think we need gold. As much as I'd like the culture, well, actually, I would really like the culture. Let's go for the culture. We just need to fix our income a bit. Which probably means we need currency. But we also need to repair the improvements. That will help, and the wonder will help a little bit. Not a whole lot, but it's something. 
Anyway, kill this guy and that guy. I could just attack him with the spearman, or I could attack him from here, I suppose. That also works. Protect the worker and move towards the catapult. Yeah, Edirne is actually taking damage, mostly from the catapult. Also, apparently, the White Walkers can capture cities with any units, including ranged units. So, we need to be extra careful about Edirne. Okay, get rid of that catapult. And finish repairing the furs. Like so, we need to work these tiles with gold. In fact, let's do tile assignments manually. Work these two. Then we need food, obviously. And like this. I'd rather wait to repair the camp before we start to work it. This is fine. Can we speed up the wonder? Maybe. We can do it like this. 13 turns. Yeah, we will save one turn. The city will not grow, but it's not like it's going to grow with plus two food. Plus two food is not enough to make it grow at a reasonable rate. Alright, this is fine. 12 turns. I am okay with this. So, what else is going on? Rome got eliminated. We are the only civilization that we know of right now. <laughs> There's no one else. I wonder how Shaka is doing. He might actually stand a chance, maybe. Possibly. He might be the last one standing. The last AI, I mean. Out of all the civilizations in this game, I think Shaka has the potential to actually do fine. Or at least put up a fight. Especially if he can start spamming his unique units. And if he gets a lot of promotions on them. The AI is not very good at saving promotions, but if he goes for honor, builds the Ikanda or whatever his unique building is called, and then starts spamming a lot of his unique units, he might actually stand a chance. I could see that happening for sure. Only one way to find out. Right, so the composite bomb, and I'll just keep it here. And let's go repair the first. You can protect that, fortify. And next, we can start thinking about attacking the city. We basically need a unit with plus one range and logistics. And we'll just attack the city from this hill, for example. We can also attack it... Yeah, this is really the only tile we can attack the city from safely. Okay. Right, civilian. No problem. We'll kill that guy. Let's see. You need plus one range still. I'd rather kill the spearman, honestly. We'll just capture the worker with our composite bowmen. And no plus one range on this guy yet. I could move and then attack the horseman. That seems reasonable enough. Just to get that plus one range faster. And we got a trireme again. Kill that. And move into the city. We can move to the east a little bit. We need a road between Edirne and Bursa. Sometime soon. And by sometime soon I mean... ASAP? We can't afford to drop to zero gold. We need to go start working on that road. From both directions, in fact. So, come on, guys. Let's start working on that. I could actually use one more worker right now. But we don't have one, so whatever. Kill that. And... Huh. Okay. Best way to do this? I think the best way to do this is to move the composite bomb in. You need to start working on a road, buddy. Okay, Handax. I just wanted to take a look. That's a lot of horsemen. I don't like horsemen too much. Okay, I think we should back up or we can just kill this guy. This is fine. Yep, we can kill that guy. Let's focus on the horsemen. Yes, start the road. You'll be fine. Okay. 
this dude needs to go if possible, which apparently it's not. This guy definitely needs to go, like so. Well, that horseman at 4 health can't really do a whole lot, so I'm okay with this. We need that road faster, and we need the wonder. We need 10 more turns to pick up our next policy. I'll just keep working on honor. What we need is honor finisher, that's what we need. But we need 3 more policies for that. If the honor finisher works on white walkers, which I'm not sure if it does, we'll get so much gold. But I don't know if it actually works. And in case you don't know, the honor finisher gives you gold for each killed unit. So that's actually kind of insane with this setup. As long as it works on the white walkers. Again, I never tested that, so I have no idea. Okay, we are getting close to plus one range on this guy. Fortify and heal. We lost a little bit of science from this. But science isn't really our main concern right now. <laughs> it's not like there will be a lot of AIs to compete with us. Actually, let's check literacy. We are fourth. The most advanced AI is at 28% right now. Okay. There's someone with pretty good population. I am really curious who exactly that is. I don't think we'll find out anytime soon. Because we can't really make contact with anyone. The plan is to get compass and build a few ships. That's probably the easiest way to actually make contact with someone. With naval units. That's the only chance we have. Because, yeah. Using land units to make contact with someone and explore the map is not a very good idea, let's just say. Definitely isn't. Okay, move into the city to get the oligarchy bonus. And, well, keep attacking. Give me that plus one range. We need one more attack. Nice. So that's going to be plus one range. And it's also going to be plus one range for this guy. Perfect. Now we have three composite bowmen with plus one range. And now the White Walkers got pikemen. And we still got spearmen. We aren't even remotely close to having pikemen yet. We don't even have philosophy yet, so yeah. We will lose some gold. I mean, science, because we'll be at zero gold while losing money. I suppose I could just work the first. Sacrifice some production. It obviously won't prevent us from losing some science. But we'll be at minus 7 only. But that will delay the wonder. Actually, will it? 5 turns? No, it will not. 5 turns still. Okay. That's fine then. The road is done. This one is also done. We just need a few more turns to finish the road connection. Okay. Well, kill that guy. And that pikeman. That pikeman will be a little bit annoying to deal with. I'll just let it move. It will take damage from the citadel. Anyway, discipline. And... Stay here. Yep. And you guys will also stay here. Plus some population. Can we get money from this city? Well, yeah, we can. Not a lot of it. And it will delay the library. But we have to wait for philosophy anyway. I should finish this mine. ASAP. Come on. We lost a little bit of science, but that's fine. Shouldn't be a big deal. So, road. And one more road section. Kill that guy before he pillages our gems. Obviously. And now we can use the heal. We got more incoming, but now we got free range on our composite bomb, and that's going to be huge help. Can we speed up that library? Oh, well, we just did. Oh yeah, we can work this heal over here. Our capital is not doing it. So that works. It would be nice to get mine on that iron. Is this a heal? No, this is not a heal, actually. Okay, never mind. And now we are losing science, unfortunately. But we only need a few more turns to fix that. Come on. 
drill tool, medic. I think I prefer medic actually. Yeah, let's go for medic. It's going to be useful. Can we kill that pikeman on this turn? Yes, we can. Like so. Rip. And horseman, lone sword. Or this horseman. This horseman can't really do a whole lot. Although, I would still like to kill it. Fortify the pikeman. Well, I guess that's it. And get rid of the Shirem. I probably don't need this composite bomb in Edirne. But I'll keep him there anyway, you know, just in case. Just in case we get multiple Shireems or something like that. And they catapult at the same time. It's not impossible. He can farm some experience, because why not? Alright. Kill the Lone Sword. That's a whole lot of Yogis. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, I'm really glad we got plus one range and logistics. But we need to get access to crossbowmen before the White Walkers start spawning gun units, like musket men and things like that. That would be bad news for us. What do we want to attack? Probably this guy. Like so, fortify. Few more turns to get the road. The mausoleum is almost done. I could have done this a little bit better, but... Oh well. I'm more worried about not getting killed. Should have done this road earlier, basically. Okay. Yes, I know we are losing gold. Tell me something new. Oh hey, nice horseman, bro. I don't think that's going to work for you. That pikeman obviously needs to die right about now. So kill him first. I'm not too worried about the horsemen, because our spearmen have a bonus against horsemen. It's mostly their mobility that's annoying, but that's really about it. Okay, like that. I'm considering moving that composite bomb in now. The road is almost done. We can move back fairly quickly. Let's wait one more turn. Or we can move like this. Next. And another animate player lost his capital. <laughs> yep. And we got the mausoleum. Nice. Okay. Still minus 10 gold, unfortunately. Oh yeah, because the stone is blocked. That sucks. I might have to build some trading posts, but we can't actually build them. We need guilds, which isn't going to happen for a long while. This is what we need to work. Not much point building workbot, because that's just going to get pillaged. Shrine. Granary. Let's get a granary. To make the city grow more. As for production here... Colosseum. We don't really need Colosseum just yet. Then again, we also don't need city walls. And I don't really think we need barracks. We have an endless supply of experience. So, yeah. Barracks aren't really important in this situation. Really? One health? Okay, finish him off. Are you guys done? We need literally one more turn to finish this silly road. And we'll stop losing science. We lost quite a lot of science from this, but we'll manage. As I said, the most likely outcome of this game is that we will randomly win, because every other AI will get eliminated. That's 99% likely to happen. I don't think there will be any other outcome in this game, unless one of the AIs manages to do really, really well. But the White Walkers will only get worse over time, although they don't progress as fast as a player does. And they don't progress as fast as the AI does on Deity. So I don't know, we'll see. But I still think that's how the game is going to end. We'll just win, because the AIs will get eliminated. Anyway, that pikeman needs to go. Let's see, just kill him like that. And city connection established. We are still losing gold, unfortunately. Can we fix that? We need to work that stone. Like this. 
we need a market, but we don't actually have currency right now. We are at minus five. Well, yeah, we need a market and we need some trading posts, which means we need more research, obviously. Let's go repair the camp, because we're missing out on some gold. And we also have to repair the quarry. Heal up, and next. I'll keep an eye on demographics. Almost 3 million population on one of the AIs. I'm really curious who exactly that is. We'll find out. Two more turns to finish philosophy. We'll start the National College ASAP. So, kill that guy. I should have moved the composite bomber first. But the horseman is dead anyway, so it doesn't matter. So much for that catapult, and now we can heal up a bit. Fortify, and go repair the tiles that will give us gold. That's pretty important right now. In fact, you should go repair the camp. You can finish the deer later. We are still losing 5 per 10. I mean, it's not going to magically change. Obviously. Come on. We really need that honor finisher, and I really hope it's going to work with White Walkers. Golden Age. Well, that's probably the crappiest golden age I ever had ever. <laughs> but we aren't losing gold anymore, so hey, I'll take it. Research, right, we need currency and we need guilds. We should just go straight for that, I think. That makes sense. I could go for optics, because that will give us a lighthouse to build in a dirn, but I think trading posts and the market are way more important right now. We could pick up some decisions, to get gold, but the problem is that I don't want to give up culture. So I don't want to trade culture for gold. As much as I need gold, I also need more policies. Anyway, pikemen. We got more pikemen incoming. We will be getting a lot of pikemen now. And we need to shoot these guys four times to kill them. I'm a little bit worried about that. We won't be getting any military technologies for a while. So this will have to do. I'm glad we got that citadel. Speaking of citadels, are we close to another great general? We could consider a second citadel. We could obviously get a second citadel right now, but then we would lose the combat bonus. And I would prefer to keep that. We are very close to the next general. Yeah, I think we'll get one more citadel somewhere around here, maybe. We'll see. So, this door needs to go, and... March or cover? I think I prefer March, although cover would be nice. Huh. Well, March is nice because we'll heal back to full without having to skip a turn. Let's go for March. I think it's better because we are pretty much guaranteed to be fighting almost every single turn. Like this. And this guy needs to move. Alright, looks good. Enemy is near. You think so? <laughs> Thanks for that bit of information. I wouldn't have figured it out. Rip. And more pikemen. That's better. I don't think we'll be attacking this city anytime soon. Because we are getting endless waves of white walkers. And there's nothing else in the known world. Just white walkers. Kuala Lumpur is still there. I would like to actually settle a city somewhere down here, on this island, that looks like an island. It's probably the safest spot on the map right now. Or one of the safest spots for sure. Alright, this dude will die, there's the general, nice. Now we can actually start a second citadel. If we want to. Probably on a hill, although... I think I would prefer to have mines on the hills. This might be slightly better, or right here, on this tile, than any unit trying to go through here will take damage from the citadel. I like that plan. Pyramids! Okay! Someone built the pyramids on turn 147. <laughs> Alright! Minus one gold per turn, but at least that's not minus ten. 
Okay. Yeah, the economy is one of the hardest parts of playing this kind of setup. Because you will not get trades, you can't really get reliable trade routes. It's awful. March. And no targeting range. I suppose we'll just skip this turn. Or I could move forward one tile and attack, but... Nah. Just let him move towards us, it's fine. But this guy, we can attack. I might save the general for now. I don't feel like we need that citadel right now, immediately. We are doing okay. There, we aren't losing gold or science anymore, that's nice. Also, we need that national college. Obviously. Reset everything. Wait, no, 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 we should not be resetting everything. I should just set focus to gold and be done with it. But I prefer to lock things manually. Yeah, let's just do it like this. And... Like so. 16 turns for the National College. 15 turns. Yep, that's better. 15 turns is good. It will be a pretty late National College, but this is not exactly a standard game, is it? No. It definitely isn't. Let's check. 3% and 3.5 million population. 98,000 military manpower. Okay, then. Well, at least one of the AIs seems to be doing quite well. I'm really curious which one that is. My money is on Shaka. Can we check victory conditions? How many AIs got eliminated? I don't think we can check that. We just know the three AIs that we met got eliminated. Oh yeah, this one also got eliminated because that's what it says. An armed player has not built a capital city. So there are two more AIs in the game. No, three more AIs in... No, two more AIs. Yeah, these two. The last two AIs and obviously there's us. Okay, this farm was never finished. But we won't exactly need it, to be honest. Let's build some mines. And we still need to finish that camp on the deer. So that sounds like a good idea. Let's go do that. More dodge incoming. Experience is one thing we definitely won't lack. You know what's going to be a problem? Getting these decisions. Because we need 750 gold. I have no idea where we're going to get 750 gold. We might have to spam some trading posts once we actually get guilds, which is still going to take a while. But anyway, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.